the final question. Somebody said that he was filling out his um, driver's license form. He got to the question of organ donation and he got stuck. What should I do? Is organ donation halal in Islam? Last year, the Fiqh Council uh, discussed this in our annual meeting and we released our fatwa uh, about organ donation. And uh, the Fiqh Council of North America, as you should all know, it is the senior most and eldest body is uh, from the early 1980s which was formed uh, and it is a council that deals with modern issues and fatwas and uh, it is headed by uh, some esteemed scholars including Dr. Muzammas Siddiqui, Dr. Zulfiqar Ali, Dr. Jamal Badawi, uh, Dr. Jasir Auda. Uh, I'm also one of the junior members on the council. So we discussed this issue of organ donation and we released a fatwa about organ donation and we said that there are certain areas that are insha'Allah very clear halal, other areas that are very clear haram, and as usual there's a bit of a gray area. As for the clear halal, what is without a doubt acceptable is that a person donates an organ to another person. It is not a requirement that the person be Muslim. You may donate an organ to another person that is needed for the life or the stability of the other person as long as the first person does not give his life up for the other person. You don't kill yourself for the other person. So the person can write in his will, when I die, you may give my heart to somebody who needs it. You may give my liver to somebody who needs it. While alive, you may donate that which you can live without, like your kidney. I don't think there's anything else, or maybe half of a liver, whatever the doctors know best, but you know, whatever you can live without, you may give to a person who needs it to live uh, a, a normal life or to live a life. But you cannot donate, sorry, you cannot give for the sake of money, i.e. you cannot sell your organs. By unanimous consensus, it is haram to sell your organs. It is haram to give blood for a gift. You do not give blood to get money. Why? Because our body does not belong to us. It belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We cannot sell what we don't own. I don't own my body. Allah owns my body. We can sell what I own. I can sell you my iPhone. I cannot sell you my kidney. I cannot sell you my blood. I cannot sell you my organs. It is haram to buy and sell one's organs. So you may donate your organs uh, to another human being. However, to donate to what is called science, the Fiqh Council said no, because this is a type of mutilation. And to simply cut up a body and to open up things and look at this, we, uh, you know, our Prophet Sallallahu said, Hadith is in Abu Dawood, breaking the bones of a corpse is as sinful as breaking the bones of a living person. This is a Hadith. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi forbade mutilation even of the pagan enemies in the Battle of Badr. He forbade mutilation. And cutting up the body and taking things out, this is a type of mutilation. So we do not do this to ourselves willingly. We do not do it to our loved ones. We don't do this. And that's why as well, autopsies, we try our best not to do them. But if the government requires, it requires. But we don't willingly just do it for no reason. We want to protect the sanctity of the uh, body. As well, by unanimous consensus of all the fifth councils of the world, reproductive organs cannot be donated. You cannot donate male or female reproductive organs. This is something that is not allowed to uh, donate. As well, uh, the person whose organ is donated, that is the person who must set, sign in his will or her will that I want my organs to be donated. Now, gray area. What if the person didn't say yes or no? If the person said yes or no, that's binding. What if he was quiet? Then the heirs come and say, oh, our cousin needs his, his liver, okay? Our sister needs this. And the heirs decide to take an organ. There's a bit of a gray area. The Fiqh Council allowed this, that if the heirs unanimously agree and they, they feel that our brother, our father, our mother would willingly give up an organ to such and such a person. And if they agree, then inshallah ta'ala, it is allowed to do that if they unanimously. If they don't unanimously, then that's a, one of those gray uh, areas. And the biggest area that we did not and could not reach a decisive verdict because doctors themselves have not reached a decisive verdict. When does death begin and life end such that you may take the organ out? Because I'm not a medical doctor, but from what I understand, there is this, this small gap of a person who's about to die that you need to take the heart or the liver or the kidney at a time when technically the heart's still beating, but the brain might be dead, for example, right? So you need to take it out and, and then, you know, do that and you're going to cause the death of this patient. This was a gray area because doctors themselves have not quite fine-tuned this. 
For sure, if the patient has died, you may take the organs out. If he's dead, you may take them out. But what if the patient is on that line between life and death? Can you take an organ that will cause the death? Knowing that he's about to die, this is something that doctors themselves are discussing amongst themselves. So the fiqh counselor said we need to come back and look at this when we have more information. That is the only uh, gray area that was there in the, the major uh, in this regard. And with this, inshallah, we conclude our Q&A today.